Alright, once you have the center core so that four wedge pieces are in place with the interlocking clamps, what you're going to do then is to grab a centerpiece, the middle centerpiece, the one that looks like this. It has a ledge at one corner, and on the other corner there is no ledge. The corner without the ledge is going to face the inward position of the cube, like that, towards the screw. You're going to put the remaining three on. You're probably going to have to hold it upside down so that the pieces don't fall off. Alright, so once you have all four middle centerpieces, you can then rest the cube, the cube core, on the table flat. You're then going to take two of the edge centerpieces, the ones that have the little hooks on them, and you should have two of them with one hook facing one way and another hook facing the other way. So these basically hook on like that around the sphere support. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put the remaining six pieces on. Make sure the hooks are facing the right way. If it doesn't go on, it, sh it should go on very easily. If it doesn't go in, then you have to probably switch it. Be very gentle because the pieces do come off. It's not really a big deal, but... It's not very stable right now. Okay, so just do that for the remaining six. There's only two pieces remaining now, actually. One of them came off. Okay, so now we have all of those pieces in place. Now what you want to do is you want to put the corner center pieces on. So that basically, you're just basically going to hold it. So there's the corner. You're going to basically just position it so that the point of this corner is facing inward. That should basically just rest like that. Here's the edge pieces, and the corner piece is going to rest like that on top of it. Be very careful with the structure. It's very fragile right now. And as you see, an edge piece already popped off again. So just slide that back on. And we're going to put the final corner piece on. All right, so now we have the entire center complete. Alright, so once you have all 16 center pieces correctly on the first layer, we are then going to put on the edge pieces and the real corner pieces, not the center corner pieces. These are the real corner pieces. Okay, so you basically want to grab all the edge pieces that have black and also all the corner pieces that have black. You're then going to arrange the edge pieces in the color pairing scheme that I have here. You're going to have red, blue, orange, and green in a clockwise direction. You could do the same for the corner pieces. So this is the green-red corner piece, the orange-green-black corner piece, and so forth. So then what you want to do, all of the edge pieces should basically be interlocked. So you're going to take two at a time, you can hold them like that, and they basically just fit snugly
like that. Then you can put the other two on. So it should be seated like that. Okay, so now you could put on the remaining 12 edge pieces. So then we're going to put on the orange. And then we could put on the green. And then we could put on the red. Okay, so now we have all the edge pieces in place. Then all you have to do, if you have the corner pieces correctly lined up in the same color scheme that we had, all we have to do is basically just hold the black facing downwards and then we're just going to put the corner piece in like that. It just slides right in. So do that for all four corners as well. Make sure that black is facing the bottom. I did not face it bo uh, towards the bottom that time. Okay, so black facing the bottom. Slide it in. And black facing the bottom again. So now you have the entire bottom layer complete. Alright, since I have now showed you how to complete one layer of the V-Cube 6, you should now have an understanding of how the pieces do interlock. So what we have to put in next are going to be the center pieces. So I have put in a edge center piece, corner center piece, two of them each. So two corner center pieces, two edge center pieces. So you have to do that all the way around, and then you're going to start with the edge pieces. So here I have the red-blue edge piece, and that fits in there like that. The orange-blue piece fits in like that. And the green-orange piece fits in like that. The red-green piece fits in there like that. Alright, so you should basically know how to complete the rest of the cube from there. But I'm going to show you a brief video at each layer, just so you can see how it should look. All right, for the third layer up, what you want to do is you want to get these middle center pieces. One goes like that. And the other one goes like that. Then you're going to get these edge center pieces. What you want to do, the hook should be facing upwards like that, and the color should be out towards you. When you're holding it like that, you should see it's slanted towards one side. If it's slanted to the left, then it goes on the right side here. Now the other one, you hold it so that the hook is up and the color's out. It's slanted towards the right, so it goes here on the left side. You're then going to get the middle edge pieces. Here's the orange blue, so it goes here. Another middle edge piece, the red blue, is going to go here. So that basically completes the third layer, and your cube should look something like that. Alright, so after you do the third layer, we're going to have to put in these wedge pieces now with the uh, interlocking clamps to make another circular or spherical support. In order to do that, you need to take a wedge piece, and you're going to put it just like that. You're then going to take a set of the interlocking clamps. You're going to take the big one first, and you want to be sure that you hold the entire cube. Put your palm on the back here and take your pointer finger, hold that corner, and take your thumb to hold this corner. You want to have a really tight grip, otherwise the entire cube can come apart. All right, so then you're going to face this little ledge outwards towards the uh, outwards of the edge, of the wedge. You're then going to rest it on the side of the wedge like that. What you then want to do is to take the smaller one and you're going to hold it so that it is like that with the, uh, the little ledge piece also facing outwards. And you're going to have this top structure, this longer part, facing towards you. You're then going to basically slide it and push it down so that it locks. Just like we did for the first four. 
but you just want to be sure that you have a really strong grip. If you see these uh, pieces popping out, just put them back in. Then you're going to take this one and you're going to face it outwards as well. And then you're going to take the smaller one, make sure that it's facing outwards, and you're going to basically just slide it. You're going to have to put a little bit of elbow grease into that. And then after that, you should basically have three completed layers and this spherical support should be surrounding that. 